Welcome to Good Mythical Mall. We got a belly full of cannoli. And a head full of aspirations. Yeah, we do. To win this not Jeopardy game. That, that is not about. what I thought you were going to say. A head full of aspirations. A head yep. full of aspirations. <laughs> but first, <laughs> what did you think I was going to say? Let's check our voicemail. Hi there, this is Jessica from the Daily Mail calling. We were reviewing some videos of yours for an upcoming article. Unfortunately, the only videos we could find were small clips of the host in the glasses saying, Stink, make me horny. If you could please help us out with these technical difficulties, that would be greatly appreciated. Have a wonderful day. I think that's all you need. Hmm. Me saying, Stink, make me horny? Is well, what internet are they using? And well, the Daily Mail internet. I think they're on the Daily Mail intranet, and that's somebody's uploaded all that. Somebody likes you at the <laughs> Daily Mail. All right, we'll be in touch. Also, heads up for all of you that would like to uh, leave voicemails, we've changed the number. Because by, what happened to our number? By a digit. Our number died. Our yeah. old voicemail. You can only get so many dumb voicemails at one number. It's a law. It's like, hey, up, up. You've reached, you've reached my limit. It's funny because it's actually a law. It's a law in the Turks and Caicos. Right. It's, it's, it's a law in the Turks and Caicos. And that, but because is that where we, we have put fans in the Turks and the Caicos, we have to basically abide by all the laws of the Turks and Caicos when it comes no. to voicemail. Oh, yep. I, th I thought we put our voicemail on like a, a ship that was constantly in international waters. Well, that's what we're doing now. Yeah. Yep. In, which but it is it, circling it changed by one number. The Turks and Caicos. It's all right. actually circling the Turks right now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's the point. Was that playback or was that actually Chase in real time? Yeah, we actually recorded Chase. In. Yeah, that's right. You know, yeah, Chase. It's right. not from anything. It's just Chase it's doesn't speak tease. during daylight. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, there you uh, go. Quick. <laughs> uh, so. Twinkle fingies. Before. We played, I believe, a vegan version of Not Jeopardy called Verity. Yeah. Yep. Uh, today we're playing a like general food idiom, as Rhett says. Idiom? Did, did you get it? Yeah, it was good. Uh, no, you did. Head full of aspiration. Yeah. Uh oh. Is um, this because Madison's last name is Beer? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That's yeah. why. That's the reason that's why, why we're, we're doing talking this? about yes. food. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so your categories are... Oh, and also, um, I heard that Chase told you to let me finish the questions this time, and yeah. I fully expect that not to happen, so we'll just keep an eye on it uh, hey, this hey, whole time. I'm, if you interrupt me, you will face a I very would never do that. painful punishment. Anyway, the categories are... Is it, uh, the, is it the good kind of pain? <laughs> Sweet life. All clues will be referring to an idiom involving a fruit or sweet. It's all leak to me. All clues will be the technical definitions of vegetable-based idioms. Would you like a drink with that? All clues will be referring no. to idioms that include beverages you may have with a meal. Beer is a beverage. Plus a splash of mythical lore. At first I thought it said mythical love and it kind of grossed me out. <laughs> A splash of love. Um, and grocery grab bag. All clues will be referring to idioms based on things you can buy at the grocery store. This is like our miscellaneous food category. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm moderately excited. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to say I'm going first, which would solve Go ahead. the fact that I don't know who's going first. I'll take um, sweet life for a hundred. Oh. Your favorite person in the world is bound to be extra sweet. If you see them at least once a day, I'm sure they'll keep the optometrist away. You've done it at first on the first freaking clue. Someone do a punishment. <laughs> okay, that's not how Jeopardy works. I will no, say that. Actually, it, 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 it is. Threw something at you. It is. You can't what? buzz in before the question's finished. Oh. That's why there's all these people going like, and then as soon as it opens up, and then like, I was doing it, I knew it the whole time. Okay. Did we talk about this last time? Is it probably are we having the same conversation? <laughs> probably. Probably. Okay, Rhett. Is it an apple? The answer properly, please. And also it's an idiom game. 
No. Might it no, be? No, no, no. Oh, apple oh. a day keeps no, the you, doctor No, away. hold on. You got to say, I'm sorry, you didn't present your answer in the form of a question. For, I did say, is and it an apple? And he buzzed in early. Okay, yeah, I, I would blink on it. this one. It, it was all, it. everything you did was wrong. You can have it. You can have Link. it. Link. Um, I wasn't listening to anything you were saying. <laughs> And I mean everything. None of it I heard. Like, Your favorite person in the oh, world is bound to be I extra it, yeah. sweet. If you see them at least once a day, I'm sure they'll keep the optometrist away. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. Because I don't know what the category is. Sweet life. All it, Everything I, is a. Idiom. I don't know what that means because I, I wasn't okay. listening. Okay. I everything was thinking is, about following the rules. Guys, guys, the whole game, the whole game. I've done nothing but the follow the rules. The whole game is idioms involving food. Every answer is going to be that. Rhett. What is the apple of my eye? There we go. Oh, optometrist. Okay. All right. I'm, really? I'm, applause? If I, if I ever get on Jeopardy and I get one right, <laughs> I'm clapping for myself. <laughs> okay, Rhett. I'll take sweet life for 200. If a child scrapes their knee but manages to refrain from crying, they'd be akin to this overbaked dessert. Overbaked dessert. Um. Rat. What is dry, dry as a cookie? <laughs> <laughs> you somehow have a part of it, right? Oh. Oh, um, uh, cookie? Probably. It's probably cookie that he has, right? I'm going to buzz in now once I've formulated an answer. Uh, one tough cookie. You did not give your answer in the what form is of the question. <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> yeah, I don't. I believe that now the points go to no one. It, what happens on Jeopardy when you don't put the form of question? That's a good question, but this shame. is not Jeopardy. <laughs> Dude, what shame. happens to the other game? That's not this. The points go to me. Okay, Stevie for the points. So, okay, uh, and so then who picks? Rep what, picks what's again? the right answer? Well, tough cookie, yeah. Yeah, it was tough cookie, but it's what is a tough cookie? But not one. Yeah, you were but, wrong anyway. All right, so you still you still control the board. Uh, you know what? Let's mix it up. It's all leaked to me for one hundred. Which is what? <laughs> all clues will be the technical Sorry. definitions and vegetable based idioms. To be particularly lazy, but while maintaining a love for television. So Link. Maybe you, I was a little bit early. I, <laughs> yeah, you were early. You were early. No, no, I was a little bit earlier than you after she finished and a little bit earlier than you. Just a teeny bit. I mean, I was like, Nurr. So were you early Nurr. or? Well, the callback here is Link. And I want everyone in the comments to know there's a whole <laughs> panel of judges. And it's not just me. Uh, who, is, what is a couch potato? There we go. Is All it right. bad if you do that, but you don't actually flip the bird? Does I'm gonna say, feel bad. It's probably uh, really offensive, right? Would yeah, yeah. It feels very yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, would good. You, would you like a drink for that for a hundred? Oh, mixing it up more. <laughs> this phrase was made famous in mythical history due to Link's faux pas during a mat a game of Mad Gab. <laughs> Brett. What is Micah Puffty? Um, you're referencing the correct faux pas and asking the judges because you did not properly name the beverage. So they are giving me, uh, they're saying no. They're saying no. Now a furious head shake of no that you do not receive that point. So now what happens? What, he didn't this name the beverage? Well. Link can go. What What is... Snot, Mike, a puff tea, cup of tea. Alex, 
Stevie? That's fine, is what... I don't what? understand what you're looking for, but I didn't say the snot it's, part. It's my cup of tea, not my cup of tea, the cup of tea part. Oh. But like, yeah, with that, he, he said cup of tea, so they yeah, both and did. And I didn't but say not. I said my, points, my cup of tea. Yeah, you didn't say cup of tea. Go to Link, apparently. Thank you, thank you. I control. Okay, I also Link, didn't say go not. ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and, and just peruse a little bit more. Grocery grab bag, 400. He couldn't catch the football the entire game. You would think the boy had oil on his hands. He's a total this. Rhett. What is a Butterfingers? Correct. I mean, what is Butterfingers? Don't keep but doing that. Correct. What are you doing? All right. <laughs> what, it's something you'll never see again, I hope. <laughs> Grocery grab bag 300. You don't want to be one of these in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. You might fall down a chute, never to be seen again. <laughs> Rhett. What is a... Oopa loopa. Fall down a chute? I know that. These are food, food <laughs> answers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Incorrect. Um, I haven't seen this movie. <laughs> Either, I, I've e seen either one, either version. No, no. Um, I feel like I know what's up with it, though, and I'm going to guess, um, what is candy? Incorrect. How could you avoid, like, the magic of Don't the idea of, like, entering into a candy world where you can, like, taste uh, everything I around you? Like... As, as, like, having any, like... Are you asking why I haven't seen the movie? Yeah. He's afraid of it, probably. He thought it was a horror movie. <laughs> I just don't... I, I just wasn't interested. I'm not a candy guy. I'm a savory guy. I'm a ham man. Yeah. If it had been Willy Wonka and the I don't Bacon know. Factory, I don't know. I, he would have watched know, it. I, I have no more capacity for shame today. So... <laughs> Fair. It's, uh, it's falling off of me. It, I don't. It's something about pigs, right? No, it's, it's food. Uh, what is it's a bad a, egg? Oh, yeah. a bad egg. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that. I forgot. All right, let's let's keep going. Um, uh, well, I'm still in the well, control do of the board. Grocery grab bag for four hundred. Oh god. Wherever you get advice from someone, make sure to always have a little bit of sodium chloride nearby. tough y'all whenever you get advice from someone make sure you idiom involving food yeah i got i got part of it but i'm trying to think of the idiom that involves this thing um Rhett? what is a pinch of salt i will give it to you yeah oh what is take with a pinch of salt okay all right keep going I'm going to take a grocery grab bag for 500 Okay. A famous ballet shares the name with a food tool that might help you with this phrase. Um. Link. What is Swan Lake? <laughs> Spatula. <laughs> I don't know. You know any famous ballets? Is Swan Lake a ballet? It is, right? See, yeah. I'm just telling you. Uh, I was halfway there. <laughs> what is a nutcracker off the old block? <laughs> Closer. What is it? What is a hard nut to crack? All right, you want to go for 200? Let's just kill this category. 200. When someone has been holding on to a secret too long, they're bound to do this. Uh, Rhett. What is spill the beans? Correct. You and your beans. All right, keep going, man. Uh, would you like a drink with that for 200? Particularly thirsty fans may refer to Rhett as this. Uh, Link. Who's a tall drink of water? That's it. Yeah. Yes, okay. Tall glass of water. Tall drink of water. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll go for the next one in the category, $300. Be your 
Another mythical best could be considered another way to say this sour and citrusy turn of phrase. <laughs> Link. What is turn lemon? I'm, hold on, I'm getting a call. <laughs> I literally am. It's from Oakland. This is an automated delivery confirmation message from Ryder. From who? From Ryder. You got a big something coming? You got something coming in a Ryder Hello? truck? Hello? Hello? <laughs> hey, what? Hey, man, help me out here. What's what your mythical best could be? You said? An automated delivery confirmation message from Ryder last mile. Regarding your recent purchase from Urban Outfitters. Oh. It's for Isabel Fair at address. Oh, look, don't, don't say my address. Hey, Fair. All right. First of all, it wasn't your address. That wasn't my address. It wasn't your name or your address. Yeah, and I'm getting a text message from it's somebody spam. too. It's spam. You should have answered it. Now they know you exist. The delivery for Isabel Fair. Yeah, I always get a call from an Oakland number that's a spam call. So I think well, it's the same. That was a lot of help. Um, what is turning lemons into lemonade? Yeah, I'll give it to you. Yes. What is when life gives you lemons, make lemonade? When life gives you lemons, make orange juice and let the world wonder how you did it. $400. Oh, grow up. There's no use in shedding tears because of a particular animal byproduct. Michelle might think otherwise, oh, though. Oh, shoot, I bust too early. <laughs> What is, don't cry over spilled milk? Correct. Spilt milk. Uh, I is it said with it a like, T? I said it like no. they, they, they said, because okay. All right. we're from the South. All right. what we is, have to adjust what things. Is, what is, what Let's is. take a break during this very exciting game. <laughs> we have a grooming line. If you want to have hair that, see how, see how malleable my hair is? That's why I constantly malleate it. Can it's you, because and you see how uh, lush my beard is. It's because I have I use the mythical clay pomade. If you want something a little more malleable, you can go with the original pomade. You can get this um, at mythical.com. I use the beard this bomb. Is, this is high quality stuff. And the beard oil. Yeah, you do. Where's and, the beard oil? And uh, if you want to have smooth hair like oh. Stevie, you can use this. Uh, Stevie, you have Thank smooth you, hair. Wink. You can you can smooth it with this. Uh, Stevie tested brush, top of the line quality. We have lip balm. We have hand lotion. It's all really, really, really good stuff. The, it smells the good. The hand lotion smells great. This one isn't open, but it's about to be. Um, I'm gonna put, I like to put hand lotion on the outside of my hands, so when I'm buzzing, it doesn't, it doesn't make my buzzer too moist. You know what I'm saying? All natural ingredients, green, etc. Don't make. Don't get your buzzer too moist. Lotion the back of your hands so you can smell that good mythical Would smell. you like a drink with that for 500? Mythical.com. Hey man, face the unpleasant reality. This roasted aroma should bring you back to your senses. <laughs> Rhett. What is wake up and smell the coffee? Correct. Y'all did a good job of these questions. <sighs> I am completely bumfuzzled. Okay, it's all leaked to me for 200. To be incredibly close friends. What is two peas in a pod? Correct. <laughs> I'm on Don't a roll. Don't look at me. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Better watch out. It's all leaked to me for 300. To be stuck in a difficult situation. I'm going to too early. See, it should, it, early. I should just be able to do what they do on Blipper Jeopardy. What is in a pickle? Correct. Uh, next thing. 400. To be level-headed. To be level-headed. Link. Who is cool as a cucumber? That's it. Yes. And I got more. What is? Sure, I yeah. I got more for that. Okay. The answer is me. What? He's answering his own question. Right, right, right. Well, Link, go. Oh, 500. <laughs> <laughs> to be relatively dim-witted. <laughs> well, let's see, a doorknob is not a food. Uh, dumb as a, dumb as a, dumb as an edible stick. 
be relatively dim-witted. Uh, that's in comparison to someone who's not as dim-witted. Uh, right. What is dumber than a donut? <laughs> Incorrect. What is pea-brained? Oh, um, okay. Yeah, that was my tough. chance to try to catch up. All right, All right so uh, sweet life for three hundred. Stealing the dessert from a birthday party is an example of this phrase in more ways than one. Rhett? What is having your cake and eating it too? Incorrect. I love how serious you are, but still wrong. When you really try and fail, that's my favorite part. That makes you look great. Uh, stealing dessert from a birthday party is an example of this phrase in more ways than one. Stealing a dessert from a birthday party. Can we cut a commercial? Yes. Mm, smell it. Oh, I want to smell it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Mythical.com. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> slice of cake. It's something about a. Um. Um. Oh. Need an answer. Uh, uh, what is what is breaking the icing? <laughs> Incorrect. What is take the cake? Take the cake. All right, Link, you're still up, I believe. I need some more mythical pomade. My hair is all over. Uh, all right, so I am down by seven hundred dollars. So you got to get one. You got to get both of these. I got to get both of these, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start with. Um, well, let's just start with 400. Your Honor, the defendant is shadily doing this to make their argument seem more convincing. Um. <laughs> the def. Okay. Sh sh hiding the. Uh, you about to sneeze? Sh hiding the nuts? Stacking the deck, stacking the nuts. Shadily. Um, st stealing the. In a, this is in a courtroom, huh? Um, shadily doing this to make their argument seem Could more. Could you not think out loud? They don't do that on Veperty. <laughs> you get kicked out when you do that, by the way. When you make your. Okay, argument, you're still gonna do it. Uh, Rhett. What is sugar coating? Incorrect. Oh, that's a good guess. The defendant shadily oh. doing this to make their argument oh. seem more convincing. So many, mm. like, like, when you... Think of where she... Hey! Uh, hey! Think of, <laughs> think of where shade happens under a tree. Trebek never gave hints! <laughs> not coconut, that, not coconut, that this is anything like Jeopardy. Uh, palm, <laughs> palm tree, uh... Any type of tree. I was thinking about nuts already. Stacking the nuts. <laughs> I was thinking about nuts already. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just add stacking to that. <laughs> Since I was already there. Stacking the nuts. Making their argument seem more convincing. Um, making their argument seem more convincing. What do you do when you're, you're bolstering your argument? You're freaking... Um, we need a guess, uh, Mr. Neal. Uh, bacon, the uh, bacon, the nuts. <laughs> if you if you're not telling the whole story and you're only choosing certain oh. parts, selective. What is cherry picking? Correct. But that oh, doesn't count. Cherry picking. Okay, the last one. Five for five hundred. What? A counterintuitive way to say an unlucky number of baked goods. Uh, Rhett. What is a baker's dozen? Correct. Oh. <laughs> I buzzed in after him just to seem like I n did have the uh, answer. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> that is a. Hey, listen. <laughs> don't, if you're on Jeopardy ever right. and somebody else gets it, just get real don't, frustrated. Don't, don't go. Oh. Like, don't, like. <laughs> 
don't don't look like you didn't know what it was. Be like, God damn! I wasn't Congratulations, fast, I wasn't fast Rhett! Enough. You win a two pack of candy milk lip balm. Ooh. The peanut butter peculiar perfect peppermint is for me. I'll take it. Mythical.com. <laughs> Unleash your legendary style with our line of mythical grooming and personal care products available now at mythical.com.